Loss of power. Oh! <laughs> uh oh, got a fire. What's up, guys? Got the Traxxas XRT out. It's been some time since I've been able to get out and run. So I'm uh, looking forward to a quick little bash here. Got a couple little uh, new M2C upgrades to try out. Uh, first of all, I got these big uh, Sherlock nuts on here. These things look absolutely sweet. I just love the look of the uh, single lug nut. If you guys can see that right there, it really locks down, keeps that wheel on, and plus it just has that awesome look. Got the beautiful M2C racing logo in it right there. So we'll be trying those out again on these Proline Master wheels. It's my favorite uh, wheels and tires for this truck. Been running them on here for quite some time, and they've uh, they've done spectacular. Again, M2C now has available the M2C HD uh, plastic bell crank arms right here. Uh, this stuff has been tested and tested. It uh, has a little bit of flex in it to uh, allow for everything to flex. Again, since this is a plastic truck, you don't want to put a big heavy aluminum bell crank in there. It'll just cause havoc across your uh, steering. But this thing has been uh, proven to uh, work and also flex just a little bit. So when you have them hard landings and and the hard uh, uh, one wheel hits and stuff, everything will flex nice without us uh, snapping your uh, bell crank, which is really awesome. So pretty excited about that. Again, this thing does have the Max 5 in it. The uh, Hobby Star 1120KV uh, 5692 motor running a 30, uh, 3446 gearing. This thing is a complete powerhouse. Again, it does have the M2C uh, motor mount right here with its nice support brackets. All this is available if you want to check it out on the M2C website. I'll put a link in the description for all the M2C upgrades for this truck, the uh, XR uh, series upgrades. Also, an ESC plate right there to uh, house the bigger ESCs so that you can turn them sideways to uh, fit them... Uh, the big ESCs in there, also even a longer can. It gives you that extra room right there. It's also still running the M2C cup sleeves on there to uh, keep these cups intact. And so far, those have been working out really nice. Those are also available. The truck also has the XR Series drive shaft, which I'll show you that here in a second, along with the uh, a servo bracket, which I'll be testing today. It's a uh, it's a bracket to uh, lock in that servo because of the stock servo, the, all the tabs broke off. I'm sure a lot of guys have that issue, especially running, uh, you know, bashing hard running the stock servo. So I'll show you a quick picture of that real quick. Here's a quick shot of the servo brace installed. Uh, again, this thing locks that servo down. Even if you got broken tabs, all my tabs on the stock servo are broken. So it was just uh, floating in there before. And uh, now, just with the brace, that sucker isn't moving at all. It is locked in. That'll really help uh, protect your servo and just keep everything solid and uh, stop any kind of flex in there. All right, guys, we're gonna give the old XRT a quick little run. Again, big thanks to M2C Racing uh, for their dedication and drive to keep bringing uh, all these awesome upgrades. Right into that rock. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, got a fire. <sighs> and looks like the ESC smoked out. All right, guys, the ESC definitely went up in uh, smoke there. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, I just gave her a cool down so she wasn't hot. That was the uh, first jump after about a 10 minute cool down. I mean, motor's, motor's warm, but not too hot. So we'll have to throw a new one in it. That just, uh, that stuff kind of happens when you bash hard. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn, that sounded rough. Ah, not gonna lie, I kinda lost it in the sun there, lost my orientation. And that was a major smack to the rear. <laughs> Looks like she took it all right. Uh-oh, loss of power. Oh! That is not good. This thing's in one piece. I'm gonna tell you what, this is Traxxas Tough. Looks like everything is intact here. I'm not sure what happened. Something electronically, maybe a motor lead. Uh, let me check into that, guys. But yeah, this truck has stayed together during that crash. This is a near 30 pound truck. Oh, and she landed. Oh, oh. I think we're just going to go without the body. That's a floater. Oh, she made it. Oh. I just love this truck. Perfect for big terrain. Oh, wasn't gonna make that backflip. And the body came off. damn body might as well just leave it off oh <laughs> that was a tumble I could not recover from Right, guys so far uh, the m2c uh, servo bracket in there is doing perfect it's holding that servo in place my servo still works i'm still running the stock servo uh, that came with this truck again all the brackets are broken she was just floating around there before but now everything is uh, locked in tight and still working which is awesome also the m2c uh, hdp bell crank uh, right here is working phenomenal uh, once again uh, no more busted bell cranks